<laughs> saw that one rise too. That's the, that's so great when that happens. Oh, there's nothing better than targeting these great sized fish. Living wow. Sweet. How cool was that? Just a gorgeous fish. And I want to emphasize that this is not a trout pond, right? This is these aren't raised here and the owner throws dog food or pellets out. These are self-sustaining. This fishery was discovered decades ago, and these very unique species of trout are self-sustaining. They spawn here, they reproduce, they grow old, and they die. So this is not something that's ever planted. It's never fed. These fish are eating natural aquatic type of nymphs and bugs. I just changed to a, a gummy midge because I saw one guy ignore my chronomid. He ate something really small next to it. And literally with the first cast, I had another takedown. But these things are beautiful. You can see just how the, the fact that they're wild, right? They may not be native to this spot, but they are wild and self-sustaining. And that's what makes this fishery so unique. Let's go catch another one. Come on. Here we go. Nice fish. Nice. Swim the other way. He's going. Super excited to be at a brand new fishing lodge. And as you know, I like to highlight family owned companies on my channel. And this particular gentleman, Brad, he has just opened a brand new fly fishing lodge and it is super cool. The accommodations right on my shoulder, it's this, this rustic, gorgeous cabin. I just did a walkthrough and it's so cozy and so comfortable. I cannot wait to spend a weekend here in the future. And I just toured the lake as well. It's kind of, it's kind of a pond. It's a super unique fishery, right? It's spring fed. The water just bubbles up right out of the ground. It's always right about 55 degrees, opens up into this pond, yeah. goes down another small little stream into another smaller pond, and it's packed full of fish. And these are very unique fish as well. It's like this, this very unique strain of trout. And from what I can see, they range anywhere from eight to 10 to up to 20 inches. Super cool. And if you're just getting started with fly fishing and you need a safe space to be able to practice, this is a great place. Not much in your back cast and many places that you can fish here and lots of opportunities to catch fish. Or, you know, if you are in that generation to where you can't go hiking down a river anymore, right? The accessibility is great here. If you want to just relax and kind of go back to your roots of fly fishing, even though today might be too tough to hike down a river or hike into a lake, you can stay here in this cabin and fish for these beautiful trout in this spring fed fishery. It's very, very cool. So super excited to get out there today and do a little fishing. Thanks for joining me. Let's get on the water. Get her done on a beautiful dry fly. Beautiful. See, that just emphasized what I talked about, right? If you're, if you're new to fly fishing and you want to build a little confidence, this is the place to do it. And, you know, if you can't get down the rivers anymore and you want to fly fish in a very easy environment as well, I mean, those fish were literally competing to eat the fly. So I know that doesn't happen all the time, but it's really cool when it does. And this is my first time here, right? And they are literally competing to eat the fly. So if you want an experience of catching these just marvelous, marvelous trout, be sure to book a trip.
So that was so cool. I sent up the drone, right, to catch a fish with. And if any of you have ever done that before, that's hard to do. Well, I immediately had a fish come over, and I don't know if you saw it, but it grabbed the indicator, got it in his mouth, and I basically flossed it to the fly. So that's how that fish was caught. Pretty crazy. All right, since that fish tried to eat the indicator, I'm going to tie on this little, this little Chernobyl ant here and see if maybe he'll come up and eat that. I have a feeling that he's going to. Get right back over in that zone. There he is. <laughs> nice. That is so cool. <laughs> Love it when a plan comes together. Get in the net. Yeah. Nice fish. Oh, see that big old boil? Oh, there he is. He ate it. He came up and looked at it first. This is another good fish. Like a really good fish. Nice fish. Wow. Yeah. Look at this guy. That is a beaut. Yeah, so if anybody wants to come and try this out and experience this beautiful coolie here with us, you can call me at uh, number Dan's going to have posted on there. And 425-239-0490. We only take two fishermen a day and two times a week. So we let the fish rest up and, and try to take good care of them. And it's all catch and release here. So catch, photo, and release. And Dan's doing a good job of showing us how to do that. So. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys.